Welcome to today's video, 1 Peter 5 verse 10 explained. But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. This verse is a powerful reminder of God's grace and purpose for our lives, especially in times of hardship. It starts by affirming that God is the God of all grace. Grace means undeserved favor, and God offers it freely to us. He calls us into eternal glory through Jesus Christ, meaning he has a plan for us that extends beyond this life, into eternity. However, the verse acknowledges that suffering is a part of our earthly experience. The words after ye have suffered a while are not meant to discourage, but to remind us that suffering is temporary and serves a purpose. Suffering, according to this verse, is not meaningless. It is part of God's process to perfect us. The word perfect here does not mean without flaw but to complete or mature us in our faith. God uses trials to grow our spiritual character and to bring us to a place where we rely on him more fully. Next, the verse mentions three key actions God will take in our lives. He will establish, strengthen, and settle us. To establish means to make firm or stable. In times of difficulty, God works to give us stability, grounding us in his truth. When we feel uncertain, he helps us stand firm in faith. He strengthens us, providing the power and endurance we need to get through challenges. Strength doesn't come from ourselves, but from the Lord, who empowers us when we feel weak. Lastly, he will settle us. To be settled means to find peace and security. In the midst of trials, God promises to give us peace that surpasses understanding, allowing us to be calm and secure even when things around us seem chaotic. This verse is a comforting assurance that God is actively working in our lives, even when we face trials. He has a divine purpose for every difficulty we encounter, and he is committed to seeing us through, making us stronger and more grounded in him. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment on this video. May God bless you and keep you in his grace.